WTFNN. Headline News Update. Good morning, folks. Steve Rhodes coming to you live from the shores of sunny Delray Beach, Florida. This is your 11 a.m. update, and currently we have a bit of a mixed bag out there. The mix goes like this. You got the Dow down 216 with the S&P down 13, six tenths and three tenths to be specific, while the Nasdaq is up four tenths, 53 points. The semis are up 17 points. That's six tenths percent. That is not the way a bear market uh, runs out here. Russell's up. is off 18. That's 1% to the downside. Trandies are down one and a quarter percent, 169 points there. Gold's off. 15 bucks silver down 10 cents lights recruit is trading out at 70 73 that's off 37 pennies natural gas up six cents 30 year treasuries down 25 ticks she's printed out at 129 even steven let's take a look at that nine panel market update chart we begin with the es mini upper left hand side that good old-fashioned consolidation you can see the sideways move and you can see the consolidation range out there so nothing new spot volatility next is rising so we can see on a closing basis a slightly rising spot volatility index. That typically translates into a market that wants to get down and test support. So with regard to the ES Mini, that would be towards the bottom of its consolidation, or specifically about 4076. The NASDAQ. If it closed the day, the NASDAQ one, the NQ, I should say, if it closed the day above 13, 495, 25, what it will do is it will negate a uh, Rhodes Mintum indicator top, it'll negate a TD9 count top on a five hour time frame chart. That would suggest higher price. However, today is now bar number eight of a TD9 count. That says the NQ could form a top between today and Friday out there. The US dollar index, it continues to trade above its consolidation. That says we've got a consolidation breakout. It's traded above the top of its daily profile. If you're asking where could this head to? Well, the, the issue that the US dollar has, let me see if I can turn that on here. I don't know if it will turn on with this little data. I was just gonna try to turn on the top of the weekly profile. Let's see if that will pop up here. Yeah, it does. So the issue for the US dollar is at 108.65. If price can close above 108.65, then I'd say this measured move consolidation breakout would get underway. Goldilocks pulling back. It's with inside its profile. It's with inside its consolidation. Silver tested at 0.382 retracement of its move up off of the lows from back in March. Um, if it closed below this level, it's got a consolidation breakdown move. That would probably take us towards 22.53 or 23 bucks. Lightspeed Crude uh, has made a 0.382 retracement of its last move higher. It's trading below profile, so it's kind of iffy out there. Natural gas taking on resistance at $2.42. Folk, folks, stay tuned for the Trader's Ed Show. But if you're up to start your Tuesday, please have a terrific one. Thanks for joining us. We'll look forward to speaking with you again soon. Take care now.